Hey everyone, school is just around the corner and I wanted to kind of give you a quick tour of our classroom, mainly the spaces uh, your child or you, if you're the student watching this, are going to have to kind of store your stuff. Because if I show you the room here, you can see uh, we have tables, we don't have desks. So you can't store your stuff at your table. So um, we have had these desks, I think this is the third year. Um, so we have come up with some creative ways to gather and hold your stuff. So I wanted to show you a few things that if you still have time to get out to the store and haven't already gotten these things, uh, they might be useful. Uh, so first thing is, is at every table, I'm gonna have one of these green baskets and last year's crew uh, used these and it worked really, really well. Um, they got one of these little uh, containers. I don't think they're very expensive. Uh, just one of these little plastic containers. So I had one for every single student, or I had each student bring one. If they didn't have one, I went out and got one. But if you could get one of these, that would be perfect for them to have at their table spot. Um, also, uh, they are going to have a couple different cubbies. So they'll have this little cubby to ho hold some things. Uh, one thing that you might want to uh, get as well is um, something to hold their writing utensils because uh, things can get messy really quick when they have a space like this. Uh, we also um, are looking for you to get, I can't remember, you'd have to look at the list, but like maybe two or three of these, I think it's three, maybe even four, uh, we organized our different subjects um, into different notebooks. So um, just these little, um, don't need to be spiral bound. Uh, if you want to get some spiral bound ones, that's fine too. So they'll have one of these spaces. So you can see I'm putting this in Joel's right now. Um, they're also going to have a space over here to hold some of their folders and whatnot. On Open House, one of the things I'm going to have you guys do, or the students do, is to go to my classroom library over there, and I want them to pick out uh, two books. Two books that uh, interest them, that they're kind of excited about, that they think look kind of cool. Maybe they have read some in the series. I'm going to have them pick out two books and bring them over to this wall over here. So by the door, right next to the door, is where their book bins are. And so that's where they'll be able to hold and store any of their library books, their classroom books, books from home, whatever. Okay? So that. And then if I buzz outside in the hallway here, um, in their lockers too, uh, we have, I already have a bin for every single student in there to kind of ho hold some of their items as well. So, um, just thinking storage wise, what we might want. Feel free to get whatever you want as well. Just kind of quickly looking around. Uh, the one other thing that we have going on that Mrs. Philippi and I both, um, um, do is we have a mini economy so if you look here that's all money and our faces are on it so mrs. Philippi I think is on the $10 bill let's look yep so we have a mini economy so there our students have jobs um, so each student will have a job and they help take care of this classroom because um, this space is not just my space this space um, it's not just Jenison's space, this space is our space. So we're all gonna work collectively to take care of it. Um, but then they get paychecks with that play money, but that play money actually does buy them things. Um, so one thing that I would love um, help and support for, uh, from you parents for, and I know Mrs. Philippi would love this too, is we have a classroom store, okay? So you can see right there, um, is where our store is going to be. Got some containers waiting. Uh, last year, this is one thing that somebody bought. I think they maybe went to Sam's Club or something. They bought a 50 pack of chips and whatnot. Now, you don't have to go that big. I'm not, I'm not sure how much that cost. Uh, but even going and getting, I, I, a lot of times when I buy stuff, uh, I will go to like Walmart and buy like the 50 pack of um, like. Um, uh, what do you call those? Fruit snacks. Uh, and those are like five bucks. 
So looking for like those big packages at Costco or Walmart or Sam's Club or Meyer or whatever else, uh, something five, ten dollars ish every once in a while would be super, super great. Um, thinking drinks and treats and so on and so forth so kids can uh, go and grab those at snack time and whatnot and keep their bellies full so that they can learn. So um, if you're out and about at the grocery store, uh, this would be a huge thing. This thing is, the store is a huge part of what makes our classroom tick because uh, the mini economy is kind of somewhat of our um, behavioral management system too. Uh, and uh, the students really buy in and we have uh, monthly or every other month auctions where the kids will bring things in and the students will be able to use those dollars to buy things. So it, it, is, it just works so beautifully. And the more stuff the students have to spend their money on, the more value it gives to our economy and uh, just the better the things roll in our classroom. So thank you for uh, checking this video out. Thank you for listening. Thank you for getting any supplies you can get. If you can't, um, you just don't have the means, it's, things are tough right now. Don't worry about it, we'll cover you, we'll figure it out. Um, but if you do have means, and even if you want to get extra, um, we'll throw it in a pile and anybody who doesn't um, have enough can grab from that pile. I know that was one of the coolest things that happened last year at the beginning of the year is um, we ended up only needing, I think, three folders or something like that. And I think we had asked for five. And uh, um, I don't know what that was scared me um but anyways so there were some students that didn't have anything uh, and what was really cool is i said you don't have to do this because you guys bought this your parents bought these things but um we don't necessarily need five so if you have uh, five and you're willing to put a few on our floor table here uh you can uh um do that and people who don't have any can grab some and it was really cool because uh, all these students that had extra threw it down there kids who didn't have enough was able to gra um, grab what they needed and uh, it was just a really good community building and just building a positive safe classroom so um, I, like I already said I already have um, been going to the store and buying um, some stuff so I do have some extras in case um, you know you're just not able to make it to the store or you're just not able to provide uh, the the items at the time. So, um, see you in about a week. Oh, one other thing. Uh, please, 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 if you are able to come to open house next week, Monday night, have your child bring all their supplies uh, that night. Uh, we will get their, all their stuff in their cubbies, uh, in their pencil bins, we will get them just set up and ready for the morning so that we can just get going. So come prepared Monday night with all your stuff so that the kids can set up and get ready and come in uh, Tuesday morning and ha start an amazing school year. So enjoy the rest of your summer. See you soon. Peace out.